on to the next one, and it is the Cronulla Sharks taking on the North Queensland Cowboys. The Sharks last week looking better. Uh, the Cowboys looking somewhat improved, um, but still not enough to get the win. They were ultimately nil, but in a 12 nil game, it just screams close game all over. Um, I did come into this before looking at the teams thinking, you know what, the Cowboys might be a shout this week. And then you look at all their missing players and look at the change-ups have gone through. So O'Neill in for Opacek, uh, Tulagi in the centre, Holmes on the wing, Arcee in the six, Molo comes to his start, uh, comes in as his starting prop, Cotter in the nine shirt, Maguire goes to 13, Granville on the bench, as well as Aziata, Gilbert and uh, Jensen. It's a lot of changes there against a shark side, but love to post points, love to bust teams up the middle. And it just looks like there is way too much talent missing for them to stand up on this one. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm not going to lie, this is the first time I've looked at this particular game's team list and I've just kind of gone into a brain fart trying to comprehend everything that, that you've just mentioned. Um yeah, I'm not going to say it's pretty view. I'm just going to go straight off the bat and say I've got Sharks on the head-to-head -head here. Um, look, here, here's an interesting one for you. I'm not going to say who this is because it's a very prominent person in um, the Rugby League Facebook community, shall we say. But he had William Kennedy under Valentine Holmes for, for a fullback, I believe. Now, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure he had Kennedy under, under Holmes on his top 20 rankings list. And uh, I'm not really sure about that because I think Kennedy has been pretty superb for, for the Sharks. Holmes is now stuck on the wing with drink water at fullback. The hammer has come and gone. The cheetah has moved out of the side. Um, and, yeah, the Sharks have just... I think that they're going to be too good here. Talakai out, Britton Makora, as you mentioned, back in. Um, it's not like Talakai's done anything wrong, really, either. He's had a fantastic month, but it's hard to keep out a, a Kiwi international. So the fact that he's done it as long as he has has, has been you know, a credit to him. Uh, not sure. I don't really know if Fafita will play. I don't think he will. The, the rumour I've heard is he's probably a week away, but we'll see about that. Um, yeah, too many changes for me. To, for the Cowboys, they looked about as good as I think they're going to get last week um, against the Knights. They they gave it a red-hot crack. Don't get me wrong, but it, you know, a red-hot crack wasn't good enough. Um, and the Sharks, who... You know, they're at a dollar twenty-five. It probably should be a little closer than that. It probably should be, you know, a dollar twenty-eight and three seventy-five instead of a dollar twenty-five and four bucks. But the Sharks, I think, will put the uh, the Cowboys to the sword. They they have played earlier this year, a twenty-six to sixteen win for Cronulla. Um, oddly enough, during quarter was the first try scorer. The Sharks have won four of the last five. The last time that they lost was. 2018, back when it was 1300 Smile Stadium. Um, with this being a Sharks home game and the Sharks winning, let's see, one, two, I can't do math. No, I've got a relatively good home record, the Sharks. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go with the Sharks on 13 plus here at 210. I'm not 100% sure on that one. This has. The potential to be a close game, uh, a close game, but it really depends on what Cowboys decide to show up. Um, don't really, I don't really know how they're going to react without Jason Tamalolo. So Sharks thirteen plus. I'm going to go with a little bit of value here, and say Sean Johnson at three seventy five for an anytime try score is due a try, and I think this week's going to be the week to get it. If you do look at the Cowboys, Kyle Felt's always very hard to go past for an anytime try scorer. Uh, Justin O'Neill at 433, I think, is good, very good value. Um, the Sharks are very strong attacking side. Uh, I'm scrolling well down to around six to see a game that wasn't rain affected that went under the offered total. Um, 43 and a half is what we're looking at, so I'm going to go 
with that as well. Sharks 13 plus over 43 and a half. Johnson anytime. Yeah, so I'm going to go the over as well. I'm going to go uh, the Sharks on the try bet just to cover that uh, that gap as well. I'm going to take the, like I said, the over. I'm going to go Katoa anytime just because, well, one, Katoa is incredible this season. And two, he comes up against Valentine Holmes if the, if the numbers line up as they should. Um, he'll come up against Val Holmes and the last time that Val Holmes played wing for the Cowboys it was because they rushed him back after injury and he wasn't ready to play fullback yet which leads me to believe that he is likely being rushed back again so coming up against Katoa who can go over players and go around players or just strip board if he fancies it through players I, I see Katoa getting over for this one and I don't think Val Holmes is going to be the man to stop him Completely agree with you on that. Yeah. Okay. So on to the next one then. 